your your yo that what's going on man every time i take my drawing out out of this mask man it be looking crazy but uh anyway what's going on man y'all know who it is y'all know what it is your boy fully fresh aka the general here reporting for duty ah man shout out to all of y'all everybody that subscribe if you haven't subscribed make sure you hit that button all right ah Make sure if you already subscribed and hit the like button also, man. Push me out there. I got a lot of things I want to do with this page, man. I got, it's really, you know, it's all up here, man. And uh, I need y'all. You know, I need y'all. Push me out there. That way we get to at least that 1K. So certain things I can do, man. But uh, let's talk about the video. What's going on today? What's going on today is to me, we got about five days left. Five days to sit on the edge of our seats and worry about who, what is Howie Roseman going to do? Who is he going to pick up? Is he going to drop the ball or is he going to run with it, shoot the three? Steph Curry. It. <sighs> Me personally, I'm not staying at 21. Now, it's reports that we like CeeDee Lamb. I think there's a whole bunch of smoke and mirrors. It's going to be too much to get CeeDee Lamb. What are we talking? A third? And a fourth, probably more than that. Probably to move up, I feel as though, all right, CD Lamb, probably 15, 16, something like that. So to move up seven spots, man, you're probably going to give up a third and a fourth. I'm cool on that. So my thing is, I'm not trying at 21 because you're like in a dead man's zone at 21. You know, it's talent there that you don't want to reach for at 21, like Mims. I like Mims a lot, but he's not. A 21, top 21 talent. You know what I mean? Like, I feel as though you just move back. I feel as though the move, the move for you to do, oh, they done lost their dog. Man. Oh, why they found it. The moves for you to do is to move back, man. Uh, You could probably still, if you move back like four spots, you could probably still get Mims. And try to get Rieger. Or even a um a dude a dude that we have not really been talking about in T. Higgins. I feel as though he's gonna fall to the second draft to, to the second round. So you still got your big stop receiver, T. Higgins 6'3. Uh catch radius is good. And you know, you can still have your fast guy. Or if you want to go the other way around, you want to go Rieger, and then you want to go KJ Hamlin. Or if you want to go, I'm I'm see to me. I don't give a damn where you get a wide receiver at. Do I want one of these dudes that we just named? Yeah. But I know it's just so much talent at the wide receiver position. I really don't care where you get it as long as you get it. I don't give a damn if he in a seventh round. As long as you get the talent that Carson Wentz needs at the wide receiver position. Carson Wentz has spoken out uh, via on his uh, Instagram. I can't really find it. That's why. If I find it, I'll put it up there for y'all. But he spoke and said that he wants to do with a strong catch radius. He doesn't have to be the fastest guy. Somebody that can high point the ball. That's Rhaegar. That's Rhaegar. And then you can go with your KJ Hamlin, your uh, your Swiss Army knife type of guy. Somebody that will make your special teams better also. But my thing is, I don't care where you get these dudes. I don't care if you get them in the first, second, third. I don't care. Just make sure that you got talent. Because I'm all for getting a wide receiver in the first round, right? Or maybe not. But getting a wide receiver in the first round, second round, probably go linebacker. Get a dude like uh, Zach Baum or something. Ban, Baum, I can't really say his name. But if y'all know what I'm talking about, y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Then go, you know, get another wide receiver in the third. You don't got to double dip. You don't just got to grab because they're out there. You still got dudes like LaVisca Chanot that'll probably drop to the third round. It's a lot of receivers out there, man, uh, that we really don't talk about. You know, uh, the, uh, the dude Watkins. And then who knows, man, probably in the second round, we might get a safety. Jeremy Chen or something like that. It's so many different options, man. And I'm not going to be mad. I don't want everybody, If first of all, I don't want to stay at 21. But I don't want everybody to throw their remote at the TV if we don't get a wide receiver in the first round. It's so much other talent. 
that's it don't gotta be in a, in the first round. This wide receiver draft is very like if you break down these dudes, this wide receiver draft is very, very deep, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Second half of the video coming up, but first, a word from my sponsor. You said you said one of these one of these East Baltimore Pike man BBC bodybuilders collision take care of you man you been in an accident so you know jealous girlfriend knock your uh knock your mirror off jealous boyfriend key your car you need help BBC got you man bodybuilders collision man one of these East Baltimore Pike like I said before do you right I'm telling fully fresh ain't you they do you better all right second half of this video man. I'm cool on Leonard Fournette. I'm cool. And I feel as though he is really, he is really the piece that we need. You know what I mean? Um, he fills that Jordan Howard role, even though uh, Miles Sanders flourished when Jordan Howard wasn't there, getting more reps, being able to touch the ball more, getting into a better rhythm. See, I'm hoping that Miles Sanders is not the type of guy that if he doesn't get volume, if he doesn't get a volume of, uh, amount of uh, touches, he's not going to produce. Hopefully, he's not that man because we've seen him. We seen him. We seen him at his low. We seen him at his high. We seen him fumble. We seen him take over a game. You know what I mean? So, back to Leonard Fournette though. I feel as though he is. He is the um the type the type of back we need in between in between the tackles, um, veteran. You know, uh, can teach Boston Scott and Miles Sanders some things, but we need every pick we can get. This is why I'm saying I'm not staying at 21 in the, in the, uh, early in the video. We need every pick we can get. I don't, I don't care if it's a fifth round. I don't care. We need every pick that we can get, and the Jaguars are not just going to give him up for a fifth round pick. They might want a third, just like how we did with Jordan Howard, but we don't got it right now. And it's, imp it's important that we understand why we don't have it right now. Carson Wentz is about to get paid next year. This team has to be young and actually stay young. And you need all your picks to do that because we know how he doesn't have a good track record. Until he until he changes our minds, this is what we know about Howie Roseman. Now, I give him, I, I slide off, of, I leave him alone just a little bit. See what I'm saying? Because I do understand when he had five picks last year. JJ, I think a white side over Metcalf, that was a dumb pick. But I, you know, I'm, I lean back off him because I know the good that he done done did. But we need every pick we can get right now, man. Carson Wentz about to get that bag. Next year he getting that bag. So it ain't no more uh, one year free agency signers. There ain't gonna be too many more of them. Like how we built this team. So I'm no on Leonard Fournette only because I need my pick. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know what it is. Stay fully, stay fresh, y'all.